Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Sagittarius for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general reading. So it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in. Check in any other placement if you want to have a personal reading link is in the description uh, if you want to follow me on my instagram where i share uh, free astrology uh, weekly and monthly horoscopes then the link is in the description so now let us see messages for sagittarius for the week ahead but keep in mind time is fluid and energy can be vice versa all right let's see messages for sagittarius so what does the blockage for Sagittarius for week ahead, please? What is the message? What is the blockage for Sagittarius for week ahead? So Sagittarius, your blockage is nine of wands. So nine of wands is a blockage um, can show to me that um, there are things that you want to do and, you know, you might be like, you know, you're looking forward to start something or whatever. But then nine of wand is showing to me that you might have not done your research work properly and you might be starting something new without much thought into it. So what will happen is you will start it, but then eventually you will be like, oh my God, I should have like reflected upon it. I should have researched about it or whatever. So that might be something. I also see that you might also be underestimating yourself these days. So there could be... Um, you know negative thinking pessimism and uh, lack of positivity or whatever which is not letting you you know um, get into stuff wholeheartedly so first thing that you have to do this week is to do your research work properly so that uh, you don't start things without much knowledge and then later on you regret it so first thing is that do not get yourself in situations like this just make sure that you have done your research work properly and secondly work on your self-confidence like do not try to underplay yourself do, do not try to look down on yourself and remove this pessimism and negativity and don't think that you are less than anybody or whatever right so that is something which you need to work upon this week Sagittarius now we'll see your um, opportunity that is coming towards you which you may not be uh, aware of so what is the opportunity coming towards Sagittarius this week which Sagittarius doesn't know the sun card wow <laughs> so sun is actually a perfect counterbalance of what we just saw sun card talks about optimism sun card talks about courage sun card talks about opportunities and you know good times returning and all of that so i see that if you can work on your self-confidence and if you can do your research work well and if you can uh, start seeing yourself really high like if you stop looking down on your own self and self-criticism, I see that there is so much that you can accomplish and universe has your back, but you need to realize and you need to ask yourself whether you yourself, do you have your back? So that is something which you need to uh, ask yourself and contemplate upon, all right? So that is that. If you can just like come out of your negativity and pessimism, there is so much that you can look forward to and achieve this week, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you I also see there could be some workplace drama going on. Um, yes, the drama exists, but if you are confident within yourself and you know you, you are aware of your own strengths, then no matter what drama is happening around you, you do not let it bog you down. So your message is instead of going out and finding a solution out, work on your inner confidence. And if you feel confident within yourself, in your own skin, you know that you have the capabilities, you have the talents, and you can make things happen then you will make things happen right so that's that's like beautiful start already Sagittarius I love this for you now let us see your general message for week ahead so give me general message for Sagittarius for week ahead please we have Queen of Wands again Queen of Wands talks about multitasking Queen of Wands talks about you know taking up work and then completing them really really well so I see that this week uh, multiple tasks can come your way you may have to multitask and you will be taking taking upon a lot of projects so just even if you're not working at house also you will have multiple responsibilities that you will have to take care of but the good thing here is that not only you will be uh, doing the work that is assigned to you but you will be doing really really well 
and that is actually going to bring in um applauds your way like people are going to appreciate you for your work so that is that i see that your capabilities are going to be in full swing and uh, you will be using your artistic abilities um and your creativity and whatever and you will be able to uh, make things happen so that is that some of you i also see that um, you know you will be able to bring that fun element back in your life if you have been feeling like your life is very monotonous or whatever you will do things to bring in that fun element so maybe you might go out with your friends or family or just take yourself out or maybe like do something with your looks or like you know do something that you love or whatever and it's going to add in some joy in your life so that is good okay anything else anything else for sagittarius strength card you're getting all the good cards i love that so we have two major arcanas already strength card again talks about inner strength so i see that whatever situation you're going through right now you will be able to overcome the situation and all the obstacles that are coming your way with your own persistence and inner strength so you know it's like sometimes we get this boost of inner strength and um there's like our intuition guiding in and something within us just like pushes us to move forward so that is something which is happening with you where you will be having your own back and you will be moving ahead and you will be realizing that come what may you can handle it so like nothing nothing is going to like put you down i see that you will become once again very fearless and you will have the courage and the energy and you will be able to overcome any difficulty with your own great inner conviction okay that's good <clears throat> i also see that your health is going to improve healing is going to come in all right so yeah things are improving for you like i see like how we started the reading with the nine of one which literally talks about that you know you feel defeated and you feel like oh my god i have to fight another battle and i'm not ready for it or whatever but then as the week progresses you're like i got this i got this shit and i can handle it and if this is coming my way i'm going to make it happen you know so that's the energy that you are transforming into which is which is very beautiful love that for you all right let's see the advice for sagittarius please so your advice is the three of one sagittarius so this is asking you to have um a bigger vision for yourself like do not try to limit yourself don't don't try to um cut your own wings so that is that keep an open mind keep an open heart and try to look for opportunities um and whatever like expand your horizon basically like connect with people who live at a distance uh try to look for opportunities out of your current circumstances so like out of your city out of your state or whatever you know and then plan properly whatever you're trying to do plan properly don't try to do things in a haste i also see that you're very skillful because we have queen of wands right in the center so you have a lot of skills and you have a lot of talents that you can put into work and you can make a lot um out of your you know situation the only thing is that you first need to realize that yes i i have this skill or i have this knowledge and i i can make things happen so you know you need to put your skills your knowledge your talents into action so that is that right also just be a little careful that you do not get into an ego tussle with anybody around you like in your workplace or your boss or like your neighbors or whatever because three or one can be people just like in your immediate surroundings so just make sure that you do not get into like a ego tussle with somebody and um your arrogance kind of ruin the stuff for you so like be a little more humble and uh, yeah like plan things well and you are sorted okay so i love that for you now let's see your love messages sagittarius all right so what is the present energy for sagittarius in love please so we have king of cups hmm sagittarius there could be a cancer pisces scorpio that is interested in you i see that there might be options in your love life i don't know if you realize that or not but there might be options but right now things might be very very surface level you know king of cups do not talk about a deep abiding love it talks about a connection which is still brewing and like there is potential to it and with time it can it can deepen but right now you are in this you know stage where you're like exploring your options and even if you're dealing with somebody already so you might be just exploring how you can make things happen with this person or whatever so right now i see that things are just like a lot of options are available and like things are very like you know casual and things are very surface level things haven't deepened you know right now you might not be deeply involved with anybody or maybe somebody is not as deeply involved with you things are very surface level right now you're just testing out the waters and you are trying to 
um, you know, weigh the pros and cons of a situation and you're trying to just explore your options. So either you're exploring your options if you're single and if you're dealing with somebody, then you're just trying to analyze various aspects of this particular connection. You know, you're trying to see uh, what's the good, what's the bad, what needs a fix, what can be worked upon, what needs to be eliminated or whatever. So that is happening. What is the blockage for Sagittarius in love? Five of Swords. Ooh, I like it. So Sagittarius, I see the blockage again, you know. I see the blockages that you might be deeply involved and somebody is not as deeply involved. So that might be a thing. Right now, you and your person, you're not on the same page. One person is more involved, the other person is not. So that might be a thing. You're not able to get this person on the same page. You might be trying to get this person on the same page but things just somehow do not work. The other blockage could be that um, somebody is just trying to cause unnecessary battles with you. You might be dealing with this person who just creates unnecessary tussles in the connection, ego battles happen or whatever. Like you say right and this person says left, you know. It's like this person creating unnecessary issues which sometimes trigger you and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like if you want to work on this, let's work on it. And if you don't want to work on it, let me know. Like why the hell are you creating unnecessary tussles? And if you're single, I see that you might be exploring your options or whatever. And once you start working things with somebody, this person flips and you're like, aren't you the one who was showing interest in me last week? So that might be a thing happening with you. Some of you, I also see there might be some politics happening. Like somebody might be getting involved in this connection between you and somebody. So somebody might be uh, influencing this connection. So be a little careful and do not in involve other people in the situation. If there is something, just sit and talk with your partner rather than relying upon other people in the situation. So that is that, right? So what is the future of Sagittarius in love? Future energy for Sagittarius in love. Ten of Swords, yeah. I see that something might come to an end and we also have the Two of Pentacles. Sagittarius, you have options. Um, rather than a particular relationship coming to an end, intuitively what I'm picking is that Ten of Swords talks about a difficult situation coming to an end because we also have the Two of Pentacles right next to it and then we have the Five of Swords. So I see that right now you and your person might be having a lot of like in and out and things are not working and like other people are influencing the connection some of you some bad mouthing might have happened between you and somebody like some abuse or whatever if that's not the case do not try to fit in just try to resonate with the parts that resonate with you common sense yeah so i see that that might be happening but the ten of sword is telling here that uh, something might just come to an end and um, the difficulty that you have been experiencing this like you know instability and you don't know what's up and whatever and things are like very surface level or whatever i see that that situation is going to come to an end and you will be made aware that you have two solid choices that you can choose from two of pentacles really talks about two solid choices two people who are like almost the same kind like same status same educational background whatever like equally good two equally good opportunities and you will have um an option to choose so i see that so but for for you to reach that you might have to like let this toxicity come to an end and obviously endings are a bit painful so you might um, end stuff and then you will be revealed to the opportunity so this ending this toxicity coming to an end that might be might be feeling a little bit painful to you but it's all for your good so that's what i see and i see that you will be having options um two very solid options out of all the options that you were exploring three of pentacles some of you you may meet somebody at your workplace um so that is possible or you might just meet somebody through someone like somebody introducing you to somebody and uh, from two of pentacles you will be realizing that okay this is the person that i want to build with this is the person i want to take this connection forward and you will have an opportunity to like be with somebody in a relationship where you both are like a team you know king of cups is a very shaky energy it talks about uh, things are like very surface level and we'll see where it goes kind of thing but two of pentacle and three of pentacle talks about yeah this is the connection i want to work on this you are my partner let's work it out so i see that from this instability you are moving towards stability and you will be able to choose a partner that like suits you and both of you will be building a good future provided you let this toxicity come to an end because i see that something will also come to an end 
you might be revealed to an information that might be a bit painful that somebody was cheating like manipulating or whatever but if you let that toxicity come you see it's already toxic right like why are you trying to fix something which is toxic so i see that if you are able to like let go of this toxicity and negativity uh you have a stable future in the future right so that is that star card yeah i i, I like really see that there is stability coming in i see that mentally physically emotionally you're going to feel very good sagittarius this is um aquarius sign some of you you may be meeting with you may be meeting an aquarius that is going to bring in uh you know a sense of healing some of you i see that you will be meeting somebody and this person is going to feel like they healed you you know like your connection the next connection that you are getting into i see this person is going to bring in a healing touch in your life and you have been single and you have been getting your heart broken for a couple of times since your last breakup is what i see but if you let the cycle come to an end and i see that cycle is coming to an end um you will be moving into something much more stable and then you will realize why it has to happen the way it happened right so yeah i love that i love this week for you already so let's see messages for sagittarius please give me message for sagittarius yeah deception and retreat so you see i see that there is somebody who's deceiving you they might have deceived you or whatever you will get to know about it you know you will like the truth is going to come to the surface you will exactly see somebody's bs we already have mercury in retrograde and mercury in retrograde can actually bring in issues from the past so that they can clear so i see that um this issue was like deeply buried and like somebody was trying to hide stuff from you that they're deceiving you or whatever it's all going to come to the surface and you will be revealed to that information and you might choose to disconnect from this person or just try to go in your own cave and you might retreat is what i see but then again it's all going to bring in a lot of healing as well and you know no matter how comforting the lie is it is still a lie and it will uh, be revealed someday you know and no matter how uncomfortable the truth is it's going to save you at the end of the day so i see that an uncomfortable truth might be revealed to you but in turn it's going to bring in a lot of healing in your life and then you will realize why things happened the way they happened so yeah i see that deception is happening you might get to know something about somebody you might try to like disconnect or you might already be in this retreat mode because you were deceived by someone or whatever but i see that now you're like moving ahead and like things are becoming good you know that's what i see So let's see message for Sagittarius please give me message for Sagittarius my ego is bigger than our love so i see that you might have parted your ways with somebody because there were a lot of ego issues between you and somebody somebody kind of chose their ego over you so yeah like hmm things couldn't work but now you're like moving ahead and now the person that you're connecting with there is going to be no ego you will be a team things will be working fine between the two of you so a lot of positivity Right, give me a message for Sagittarius to close off the reading. I'm going to take one from the Lovers Oracle. Message for Sagittarius to close off the reading. So we have power. You are you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Yeah. The exact thing that I was saying to you. So I see that you in, intuitively you know like something is being hidden from you or whatever. and your intuition is guiding you and i see that you have the power to walk away like right now you feel very um victimized you know you feel like uh you are binded by your past and you cannot walk away from it and you feel like you are a victim or whatever but you you need to realize that you have the power to cut down negative cut down negative ties with people break the cycles break the pattern and walk away and like claim your independence once again so if you realize that i see that you will be able to walk into something very very meaningful so you just need to understand that you have the power to walk away from things that do not serve you and if you walk away from things that do not serve you and you make space then things that do serve you can come into your life so if you want things to happen in your life you need to first release release your negativity release the negative ties release um the victimhood or whatever right so that is your reading i hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye